Adopt a Glurp by Elise Gravel. Here's the Glurp. Hello! The Glurp is a cute little monster that you can keep at home with you, just like a dog or a cat. The Glurp is very funny. If you don't take good care of him, you'll be in trouble. He's a little rascal. Blech. He. Where does the glurp come from? Ta-da! The baby glurp hatches from an egg. Glurp eggs are hairy and smelly. At birth, he is red. As he grows up, he turns black. Mama? You can buy glurp eggs for 10 cents at the monster shop. But sometimes you can find free glurp eggs under rocks in the forest. The glurp's anatomy is simple. Mid-sized brain, huge stomach. The feet of the glurp stink because they're covered in tiny, sticky suction cups. These suction cups allow the glurp to walk on walls or ceilings. The Glurb loves sports. When you play with him, please be gentle. He's a lot smaller than he thinks. Despite his tiny legs and arms, he's pretty strong. He can lift a pencil and even draw with it. Here's a drawing made by four-year-old Glub. Tweet. Glurbs scream pretty loudly. When a Glurb is scared, he can bite. His biting hurts, but it's not poisonous. He can also run very fast. The Glurb is very good at hiding, especially after he's been naughty. He likes to be tickled. He loves to ride on shoes. You can take a Glurb anywhere. He can communicate with birds. His favorite hobby is to unroll toilet paper. If you're a tidy person, maybe the glurb is not a good choice for you. Taking care of your glurb. Be very gentle with your glurb. Baby glurbs need a lot of love and cuddles. Since a glurb is smelly, it might take you a while to get used to kissing it. They smell like rotten mustard. Glurbs are afraid of loud noises. They hate to be yelled at. If you yell at your glurb, he'll play tricks on you, like tying your shoelaces together or plucking your eyebrows at night. When a glurb doesn't get enough cuddles, one, it whines. Two, acts silly and does really annoying things. Three, or hides for days. Baby glurbs must never be left at home alone. They get lonely and scared. Some teachers allow glurbs at school. Some glurbs even learn to read or to count. Baby glurbs can have little accidents. That problem can be easily solved with glurbies found wherever diapers are sold. Keep your glurb clean. Wash him every day with vinegar and cranberry juice. Glurbs love to bathe. Glurbs only have two teeth, but they still need to be brushed. Glurbs hate tooth brushing. Even when they're clean, glurbs stink. It's normal. Glurbs eat a lot. They love to make their own sandwiches. They even eat dirty socks. They also like to munch on crayons, banana peels, and toothpaste. Glurbs eat 10 times its own weight every day. Make sure you have a fridge full of its favorite foods. Activities to keep your glurb happy. Number one, goo. Glurbs love everything gooey. Wet Play-Doh, mashed bananas, melting jello. Two, music. They love music, especially jazz. They're also good dancers. Three, slug raising. Glurbs love to play with slugs and slugs love to play with glurbs. If you give your glurb a paper airplane, he'll have lots of fun flying around the house. If you have more than one glurb, they might fight at first, but after a day or two, they'll be great friends. If you have a male and a female glurb, you might even have baby glurbs. Glurbs love to tell each other jokes, but no one else understands what's funny. Give your glurbs a chickpea and they'll play soccer. Three glurbs can make your bed. 
If you have more than five glurbs, make them sing in a choir. Of course, if you have many glurbs, you'll need more food and a lot more cleaning. Your parents might not be happy with more than one glurb. Sometimes a bit of discipline might help. You need a timeout. You can ask your teacher how to give some tips on how to keep glurbs quiet. But one thing is certain, the more glurbs you have, the more fun you'll have.